The body of 56-year-old Roy Gabriel lies inside the morgue and his brother-in-law is detained by police following his demise. The story is that Gabriel was inside his home on Reservoir Road in Barrelboom Village, Belize District, just after 2 o'clock this morning with his wife, Denise Gabriel, and his children when a domestic dispute ensued between Denise and Gabriel. Gabriel reportedly slashed his wife with a machete to the back during the altercation. Fearing for her life, the wife called for her brother, Dylan Flowers, who came to her rescue. A cousin of Denise, Eden Krishan, spoke to her this morning immediately after the incident, and this is what she had to say. I spoke to the, 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 the wife this morning, and she told me, you know, sometimes people see me and they don't know what I am experiencing. Um, and it is true, but um, she, like, like she told me this morning, she said, today was a day that I felt that I would have lost my life. And I say this with a lot of emotions because I can sense her, her, her fear for life if a man whom you have lived with and only you know the pain that you're feeling if somebody addresses you at 2 o'clock in the morning and addresses you with the slap of a machete on your back. Flowers pulled out his 9mm licensed firearm and fired a warning shot in the air. Gabriel continued to advance towards Flowers with the machete, and Flowers then fired at him, causing his death. The cousin was also able to vouch on the character of Flowers and commented on the judgment he made for pulling the trigger. I know a firearm can be used or should be used to protect life and property. And from what I have heard, it was such an event, uh, uh, an unfortunate one as we commonly say. It's an unfortunate event to say that he was approached and he had no way to exit and his father, whom was with him at the time, um, who has some issues in mobility, doesn't move as well as you and I do, he was in immediate threat at the same time for his life and I believe at that time I would say the situation ended up to where it is at today. Do you think that Mr. Dillon made a good judgment? As it relates to pulling the trigger? As it relates to pulling the trigger, there is no firm answer for that. I firmly believe that a man who, whose back is against the wall, a man who I know to be of excellent character, a man who is always mild-mannered and calm, for him to have escalated in this situation like that it must have been reasonable because i see him as a reasonable man and i would believe that the average reasonable man in that situation would have reacted very similar denise and roy shared four children together with the eldest being 21 years old reporting for love news i am alicia valentine